What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We're back in Lexington right now, which I think we're gonna try and clear this place out. I actually missed a lot of things while I was in this neighborhood the last time I came through, and having played the game a lot in my free time now, I actually know of a few things that we probably want to take a look at. The first is gonna be the bank over here. I don't recall if I hit the bank yet, but if I didn't, we want all this pre-war money for ourselves, because each one's worth like three caps. And so if we can get ourselves a little bit of skrills this way... Let's see, security door control, no password, really? Alright, open that thing on up and I'll show you a little easter egg secret over here. So we slam this door open, and there's a bunch of money laying around on the ground, which makes you wonder, like, shouldn't there be more money inside of a bank? Well, if you drop down to right here, you can actually find a spot they were robbing the bank, and there's 100 pre-war money right there. Which means that you basically just lucked into, like, 300 caps if you saw that the first time around. And so I always try and go through here and get it because I think we're sitting on upwards of 400 pre-war money right now. So we have a lot of good stuff. There's also a bunch of raiders around here and they have mini nukes. So be careful and be aware of that situation. There are also a ton of ferals around here. So you're probably going to end up shooting somebody on your way through. Or at least a couple somebodies. Oh, look at that one. He, did he come through the wall? How did he get there? How very, very odd. I'm actually sort of impressed that that worked. Yeah, dog meat. Take your time, man. Take your time. Don't treat this like it is a vital situation. Ooh, an aluminum can. He actually had good weaponry on him. I'm going to wipe out some of the raiders over here because I'd like to get myself another 38 weapon so that I can modify the hell out of it and maybe use it as a fallback because at the moment, we are... Jesus. How many of you guys are there? The recoil is unreal on this thing. It gets all over the place can actually be quite difficult to shoot stuff with it. Up on this side, 10 millimeters keeping us safe. We got extinguishers and nothing else. I think this dead end's out up here. Actually, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, there's an armor workbench, but it dead ends out. Let's go ahead and use some food real quick, too, because we're kind of beat up at the moment. I want to make sure we don't have any of our associated parts falling off while running around. Let's take some mutant hound chops. That sounds delicious. Sounds amazing. Honestly, I don't really like lamb chops or anything like that, though. I've never been a fan of sheep. Just never have been. I've had sheep occasionally. Yeah, firearm. Builder. Ordered. Okay, screwed the pooch on that one a little bit, unfortunately. Shouldn't that one also attach to that one right there? Or does it have to double up? I don't know. I'm not going to stare at it for too long. I'm going to see if I can get my tries refilled before I quit. I always try to get my, my freebies in. Although this one's actually looking like it might not have anything for us. Advanced terminals can be a little bit hit or miss. Oh, well, there you go. Perfect. We'll open the door on up. And once I do that, go ahead and quick save because you never know what's going to happen around here. Especially when mini nukes are involved. Anytime mini nukes are involved, there's something about Disney branding that just makes nuclear weapons a lot more violent and difficult to deal with. Oh, shit. Wow, how do I have so many bobby pins in this playthrough? I'm killing it on bobby pins. For what we don't have, what we do have is Bobby. There's a pipe pistol right there. I could probably take that back to Sanctuary with me and kit the hell out of it, but it's going to be quite a walk, and I'd rather get all this done while I'm here. I think this is the building right here that the Raiders are inside of. So let's get low. I'm going to get a firearm out real fast. With the Extendo Mag, we also don't know if this guy has fired his mini nuke yet. If he hasn't fired his mini nuke, then he's going to point blank us with a mini nuke, and it's going to totally suck. However, if he's already fired it, this should be very, very easy peasy lemon squeezy. But there's a guy up on this rampart up here. There's a guy up on this rampart who has power armor. And so while I just gave away the element of surprise, ooh, I want that toy rocket ship. Toy rocket ships and toy aliens have nuclear material in them, I think. Which can be super useful if you don't have those particular items for crafting with. And as you get further into the game, you're going to need some nuclear material for upgrades. Check this nice and slow by abusing the hell out of the caps lock right now. Just being like, caps lock, why you do me like this? It's all your fault, caps lock. I mean, I don't know if that's rhetorical. Oh. But it was a clipping plane. Oh, man. Well, fine then. I'm going to shoot you in your arm until you fall over. And then i got to wait for this guy to piss off. My hope is that this guy will fire the mini nuke at dog meat.
Yep, that's about what I figured would happen. Mini nukes in this game are kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's called a mini nuke. What did you expect? But I had a sneaking suspicion. Getting point blanked with a mini nuke sucks. Okay, so we're going to have to go down around this way. I can't fight her at point blank with a stupid mini nuke. If for whatever reason, point blanking you with a mini nuke, it doesn't affect the person who fires the mini nuke. So the AI is like immune to point blanking themselves with a mini nuke. So what I need to do is I think she's up and around that way. I need to bait her into firing the mini nuke down here. Which might be... Come on. That's right, I'm over here. Okay, so there she is with the mini nuke. There, so there's one mini nuke down. I don't know if she has more than one. The answer to that question is yes, she has more than one mini nuke. Talk about a well armed raider, Jesus. Okay, so, is she done now? Are you finished? Are you done? Is your explosive nuclear temper tantrum over? I think that should be it for her, and then I think once she runs out, she becomes like a melee character or something like that. There might be, oh, there's raiders over here too? What happened on this side? Got duct tape, getting shot at, so that's pretty fun. Oh, yeah, there she is right there, ain't she? Raider scum. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of... Oh, no. Well, that's no bueno. I'm going to need you to go ahead and die while I point blank you with my hip fire. The coolest kind of fire. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Got a fat man right there. We got a Raider Power 2 torso. But actually, it looks like that piece was pretty much stripped. She doesn't actually really have any extra pieces. So with the power armor in this game, it can come in multiple different styles. And one of them is Raider. And the Raider ones look kind of cool. It also has pretty good damage resistance. So things to think about if you're trying to get it locked down. We got a stim pack, a pipe pistol, and some other things over here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kit that out the way that I want to just yet. Toy aliens, I think, have nuclear material in them too. Take that real fast. There's going to be an armament crate over here. Do I even have grenades equipped right now? I have this horrible tendency. Oh, I do have them equipped. Well, I should have used those then. I probably would have made quick work of everybody when we've been fighting in the last couple episodes. Now that this raider is down, there's a mini nuke inside of here. Just in case you really, really, really wanted to use that mini nuke launcher right now versus later. Pipe auto pistol. Nothing in there, actually. A brace leather right arm would break down into some good stuff, though, so I'll take that. That's about it for Lexington. There's a pharmacy and there's like assorted random buildings that you can go up inside of. Other than that, there's not really anything that you want here. I should probably go up because on that little catwalk right there, there's a bunch of loot. They actually, they reward you in this case for destroying the raiders. So we should probably go up there and take advantage of it. Simply based on the fact that I don't have a lot of ammunition or anything left. Still, we got a pipe pistol and whatnot all locked in. So I'll probably get that kitted out in just a moment. That'll probably be our next stop after I finish off here at Lexington from there. What I planned on doing with our time is maybe we'll go up to Diamond City. How's that sound? Diamond City always sounds good to me. We got another debtor over here. Chemistry station. Don't think I want to use the chem station right now. There's that dead individual. Apparently I shot his arm off because that's just the kind of... You're wearing a bag on your head, man. You look like a discount horror bad guy from a, like a Japanese anime. Something about putting a sack over somebody's head just makes them look creepy. Got a short pipe rifle. I actually probably use the pipe rifle. I like the rifles a little bit better than the pistols. It doesn't really matter. I can use either or, but I feel like I get better mileage. I feel like I get better mileage out of the... Oh, hey. What's up, random mean little turret that wants to murder me? Let's go ahead and use a stim pack real quick, too. I don't know how we're lined up on stim packs right now. But I can never have enough of enhanced targeting cards. Everything's looking fantastical. There's somebody downstairs. It's probably a ghoul. There's a dead guy over here. Nobody wants to deal with ferals, least of all me. Ferals can be a giant pain in the ass. Kind of odd that we're not picking up more shotgun shells. I think there's a couple inside of that building right there, but it really comes down to whether or not I feel like dealing with them right now. 
And I think the answer to that question is probably no. I don't think there's anything inside of here either. There's like an office back here with like, yeah, a kickball inside of it, if I remember right. I don't know. I've played this through a bunch of times now. Like, seriously, I've played this game a stupid amount at this point. Like, more than any human being actually should. And so, anyways, actually, I got to go to an armor station real fast. There's an armor station over here. I don't know if we have one in Sanctuary. I also need to level up before I forget. Let me level. So the unfortunate point that we're at, right, I'm only level 12. Oh, okay, so that's good. The unfortunate thing is that anytime you play this game, you're probably going to have to take local leader if you ever want to accomplish some of the big stuff. I do think that, oh, we already took armor or one. Well, good then. I'm happy about that. Blacksmith isn't going to matter for right now. We've got sneak. I don't think I'm going to be sneaking much. Instead, we could either go for hacking terminals, which I think is a pretty smart idea. We go for further DR, which is always a good plan. I love actually not taking damage. Gunslinger. Actually, since I have the gunslinger perk, I'll probably use the pistol then. Uh, local leader. Let's put in a local leader. Lo local leader does. It allows you to build better stuff in your towns. Things that will earn you money. Things that will bring in more immigrants. Stuff like that. Because obviously having yourself a stacked township full of people with guns might be a good idea. We have a workbench over here. But I think all of my stuff is back at my previous location. What I'm looking for is the rocket mart over here. They have a weapons workbench around the back, just in case you wanted to use that. And any time that I'm around Lexington, I use this armor station like constantly when I'm over here. Give you a little bit of leather, but I think that's all that we have going for us right now. With the lightweight metal chest piece, we need more steel. We also need more adhesive, but I think technically we can make this a lot better. Like, I think we can make this way, way, way stronger. And since we've decided to use heavy armor in this playthrough, we should play to our strengths. Anyways, let's go back to Sanctuary, and we'll kit out our gear. And once our gear has been all nice and kitted out, we'll be ready for our adventures. I'll probably head down to... Da I'm going to go to Diamond City and start playing around with some of those quests. And so we'll see what's down there. I'm sure there's at least three or four activities that we can take part in when it comes to Diamond City. Alright, the opposite side of the road arrives. I want to take this right here real fast. I want to dump off all of my junk. We have so much random shit in our inventory right now, though. And what I need to do is, let's get this, we got the fat man, so I'll probably actually scrap that for the useful stuff. You're going to find a lot of fat mans, don't lose your mind, it's okay. I know some people get frustrated when I do stuff like that, but believe me, you're going to see a lot of fat mans in this game, so... I don't know, I think I've seen like six or seven of them in my other playthrough where I'm like level 20, they're all over the place. I tend to break them, so this guy right here... Sir, I would like for you to have a powerful receiver... Once I put the powerful receiver on, I would prefer I'll probably go with a long barrel right there. I tend to prefer the longs. With the standard grip, I'll probably take a marksman's This isn't even like a Oh, it becomes a rifle if you put a new stock on it, really. Okay, that's sort of interesting. I guess the only thing that makes it different is the fact that, I mean, technically a rifle versus a pistol. Never mind, we're not going to talk about it right now. I'm going to go with the sharpshooter grip. Go with a drum magazine. Instead of those sights, I'll probably go with the glow sights. And so there it is. We got plenty of nuclear material. And as far as the muzzle's concerned, I'll probably slap. Yeah. I'll probably slap a muzzle break on it. Because honestly, we've actually got really good range in this gun to begin with. And so. That one will more than likely take over. I tend to ditch stuff. Uh, it looks like I destroyed all the cabinetry and whatnot around here, so I'm just going to drop the stuff on the ground and we'll deal with it later. I'll probably take that, and let's go ahead and assign that to the same spot that the submachine gun's occupying right now because I don't have a ton of ammunition. I'll probably keep the shotgun. I'll drop the D-barrel. The flare gun, I don't really, like, need right this second. We're also carrying around a Raider 2 power torso. You can see the damage resist right there is actually pretty fantastic. Get rid of that guy, and I'll come back for it later. Probably put my army helmet back on. The militia hat is cool, but... Let's go ahead, and we're going to head towards Diamond City now, I think. And if we wanted to get close, we can go down to Vault 81. That's the other thing I need to figure out, is what the hell I did with my fusion cores. Oh my god, did I put them in here? On accident? Huh. This is an odd situation. I think I'm definitely going to have to have a look around and figure out what I did with my fusion cores. 
Because I seriously had like six or seven of them, and now I have no idea where they're at. Gotta be around somewhere. Oh man, how unfortunate is this? Yikes, got cigar boxes. Apparently I put all my stuff back in here, hold on. If we're heading down to a place where we can buy stuff, I want to make sure my inventory is full of things that are actually useful. So we got packs of cigarettes, those usually sell for like seven caps a pop. Pre-war money, that'll do for right now. Yeah, apparently I ditched my fusion core somewhere and... Huh. I may have stored them in this cabinet over here. Maybe. I'm gonna take a look just to ease my mind. They're beginning to bother me. There they are. I'll probably take... We have a scattered laser rifle? Ooh. That's sexy and something to be thought about. With this poor little bastard over here that's guarding the front gate, I should probably give him better armor. I don't know if you can assign him to power armor, but I'd tell him just to wear power armor and watch the front, but... I don't know. Let's go back to Vault 80 whatever, and we'll see if we can get their trust before we go any further. Get that relay tower done. There's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a bunch of stuff in here, and then also out that way. It's kind of interesting, but we don't really have time to mess with it for right now. As far as Vault 80 whatever is concerned, that's their technical term. I don't know if you looked at the handbook like I did, but I actually took a look at the technical specs, and it's called Vault whatever. 80 whatever, if you wanted to be really specific. Brain fungus? Sure, why not? I like brain coral and brain fungi. I don't think we had anything in there. I'm just taking a look around because the last time we came through here... I didn't really know what I was doing or looking for, and I was sleep deprived, so I'm just trying to clean up after myself, basically. I actually, I looked into it after I did that, and they said when you're 24 hours without sleep, like I was, they said basically you're a drunk person. Like, essentially, you just don't pay attention as well. And it makes sense. I went back and I looked through some of the areas that we had been, and oh my god, I missed so much stuff. Also, dog meat, come here. I want you, cutie puffs. Do I have... I thought I had a bandana around here somewhere. I was going to give it to him, but... If it's not here... Here, take those. I definitely don't want to be carrying those around with me right now. I always forget... I don't know why the parts snap off of things, but it drives me nuts. You always end up with like a full inventory full of just like random receivers and shit every time you do like a customization. Apparently, I don't have the thing that I wish that I had, and so anyways, I thought I had a bandana around here somewhere, but I probably do. So you're back. I take it you got what Overseer McNamara was looking for. Yarp. Yep, all three of them. All right. I'm opening the door. Overseer McNamara and myself will meet you at the entrance. Oh, and behave yourself. You start any trouble, we'll toss your ass right back outside. Well, lucky for me, I love it when my ass gets tossed, so. Let's see here. It's kind of cool to meet another group of vault dwellers, in all honesty. I always found that the vault content in previous Fallout games was always some of my favorite, where you found, like, the other experiments, and you, you start to realize that all the vaults are kind of weird. Like, every single one of them has, you know, its own little scientific experimentation that's running. I have the power... Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I had everything that I thought I had. And this is going to be my three slot? Yes? Perfect. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on Watch like this. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends Excuse me. here. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation-free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. 
We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Okay. I would suggest that we talk to the various who's who in here. We'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Definitely can't be having that right now. You know, I was almost going to start scooping stuff up off the ground and just like looting the hell out of this place. But, excuse me. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat. But with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well... I don't want to keep you, and I got to get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Just keep wrenching, pal. Just keep wrenching. Sometimes that's the way life goes. So where's the terminal that opens up that thing over there? Okay, that sounds good, but for now... I think we're just about out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Fallout 4. I will see you all in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody.